Okay, so what's cool about today is I brought you into the installation of a dome. So in the past, I brought you in and we're doing the framing and then we do the drywall, then I show you the ventilation, then I show you the actual design build. I'm skipping all that. I'm getting right to the meat potatoes, or as we would say, the main course. I've already brought you here. As you can see, we've already installed most of the dome. And if you take a look at this dome, it's all built out of aluminum framing. And what makes this so cool is number one, the flexibility. So if you're sitting inside this dome, which by the way, is 18 feet wide and eight feet high, you actually see the curvature of the aluminum frame that we've used that's been painted black to support the panels. So we dropped the frame in place, it turned out amazing, and then we took the handmade leaded glass. You'll see each piece is individually numbered, so it shows you exactly the location it's supposed to go into. Now take a look at this product. It's actually amazing because this is handmade, and I don't know if you can see this, but do you see the contours over the leading on top of the glass? That's how detailed and quality and the workmanship and the time it took. You are looking at a $180,000 dome, but I'm telling you, when you walk into this house and you look up and you see this dome, it'll blow your mind off. So right now, just to cut to the construction side, you'll see over on one side we have the uh, supply we have another side with the other supply and of course on the top we have our return so therefore that'll circulate all the air now we're almost at the final stages of completing the uh, drywall the only thing that's left to do next which is going to make this place look amazing is light it up and get a load of this nelson designed these clips come take a look at this that he actually printed off of a 3D computer. So instead of using paper, you use plastic. And take a look at this. He's created these clips so that therefore, we could actually mount them to the side of the uh, ribs of the dome. And the best part is we're gonna run all our lighting up through that. So when you're sitting downstairs and you look up, what, you're gonna be 10, right? You're gonna look up almost, oh, say about, 28 feet, you're gonna see this gorgeous 18 foot dome with all its different details in it, just glowing. I'm telling you, stick around for the second part of this because it's gonna look really cool. Ciao.